Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again. And today I'm in thinking to share with you this replay because I still think that she is pretty strong ship. The entire um, German cruiser line, it's a mixed bag. When they was released back a couple years ago, I believe more than four years ago, um, something like that, it was the most broken overpowered tier. Uh, tier for tier of all uh, ships types because they had the tier 4 and tier 5 but especially the Königsberg and Nürnberg had more range than the damn battleship it was absolutely broken very strong uh, they kind of uh, got over uh, creeped and still believe that it's kind of a all right ish line the entire cruiser line but then you finally come to the tier 10 hindenburg and hindenburg uh i don't know if you know guys it has been buffed many many times so today guys it's a literally a, a powerhouse and a monster in some regards she also received some nerf in aa but overall guys um what do you expect of the tier 10 cruiser Yes, you do not have radar, probably you don't have uh, this crazy turning radius, you're kind of a big, you're kind of a slug, and you have to remember like this uh, captain, we have a huge pressure towards this awesome captain, uh, Stabby, uh, Spie, Sh Stabby, we just call him Stabby, Stabby, from NA server. He really pay attention when two ships aim and win, I mean, even if you don't have the best rudder and the best speed, you kind of need to be right angle. I repeat, if you do not angle in this ship, you can be uh, hurt. On the other hand, it's tanky-ish if you uh, know your angling and your position. And you can definitely trade with Riga. Riga it's a good ship, nothing crazy, nothing bad. But it has crazy bad reload time versus Hinde. And probably with that it's the biggest feature about this ship. It is because if you have the right um, build, right type of captain. I repeat, um, the, the badass premium captain. Uh, Lucian, I do believe, or what it's the the uh, um, German uh, badass captain with have special talents. Then you, let's say, if you hit with your main guns, 150 uh, uh, hits, your uh, DPM increase or you reload much much faster with your main guns. The HE pen are fantastic. I do believe you will pen 70 millimeters of a pen or something like that, ridiculous. Which basically, if you're Stalingrad, if uh, Moskva stay by one, you are the most scariest cruiser in the entire game versus anything uh, extremely uh, armored uh, ships like Krem, like Moskva, like, uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, overpower uh, good armor ships you will do m most likely full damage and at the same time also uh, you know put them on fire if the RNG bless you yes you may ricochet depends where you aim you know what I mean but let's put it this way if the ship is bigger like a battleship it's most like over there it's like 7 pan and you have 12 Franken uh, shells and over here we have 3000 damage and only one fire so most that damage of those 33,000 probably most of them were pure damage that's this ship shines if you do not pay attention to this ship this ship will slowly but suddenly kill you the range is fantastic especially when you have this spotter plane i do highly recommend you put the spotter plane because the the guns are rail guns and uh, you know it's pretty hilarious in that regard that you have rail guns and you can hit any target 19 20 kilometers no problem and there is the fire number two so you may argue that it was 62 shells to fire it's not that great and the HE shells does not do a whole lot of damage. That's a, a you know balancing factor. 
but overall you have the best hydro in the entire game brawl versus this thing it's probably is the last thing you go and do how is that you have but lots of torpedoes you do have crazy uh, strong um uh, potential of um uh, torpedo power if someone is trying to yolo you that's what i'm trying to say Mm, torpedo this thing it's most likely never gonna happen yes it can happen but most most likely never how is that you have a crazy long hydro the best hydro in this game uh, something else with this fast reload time uh, the destroyer will fear you and depends on what AA build you do have you can also be pretty strong when she was released, she was together with Des Moines, the best AA cruiser in this game. I repeat, when this she was released, the Hindenburg together with the Des Moines had the best AA in the entire game of all ships. So her AA is still strong, but the AA bubble of some strange reason, it's much, much smaller than, let's say, the Soviet or the US. Uh, Worcester's AA bubble, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Uh, you have crazy, I mean, not crazy, but more than decent AA. I very much like to say the cruisers or the aircraft can won't go for you. Yes, they can drop you, yes, they can do a lot of damage, but they pay with losing probably all the. Uh, the squads so this captain it's um, doing something that you should always do fire 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 uh, shoot 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 like a maniac shoot like there isn't anyone's business and there is no tomorrow literally and probably this is how you wreck you reload too darn fast especially when you have this badass captain and my opinion you see that 6800 damage eight pence for crying out loud of which of 12 guns 10 hit the damn target and one cost one fire and what the hell is this you reload crazy fast i don't know what kind of build he has probably has this new type of no consumer build probably that you increase your dpm either further which reload stupidly fast and probably yes you are not the stealthiest you don't have smoke you do not fire in the smoke on the other hand who the hell needs smoke when you have range and rail guns so 7200 something damage all eight hits the target and pan this is probably the biggest weird and yes he was the right call to change to ap very unfortunately that shatter you know what i mean you have one of the highest ap uh, salvos or dpm this Cossack it's over there should be definitely changed for Cossack yeah serious I don't know if there is a bug or what the hell happened I also uh, put myself that I pray Chal Mattel with only 14 points captain but my second it was just hilarious I have no idea what the hell happened uh, I don't know if you pay attention earlier his secondary went up like crazy 8 point something kilometers away uh, not because he uh, I don't believe for a bit that this captain was ever built for any uh, type of secondary But I don't know what kind of perk you do have uh, I realized the same story when I played ranked uh, Yesterday that man my um, um, Secondary goes nuts. It's going like I don't know seven eight kilometers away from your ship uh, And it never used to be that way. Let me know in a comment below once again guys eight shells of 12 of which seven pen and one ricochet and uh, same story over here nine shells hit of which one cause fire this is literally a uh, hindenburg in your nutshell yes you do not do big damage like you know georgia alaska or any you know big super heavy cruisers like uh, petropavlovsk or um, Alaska it's probably the best thing to do you're gonna do huge amount of damage with AP when they pan you yes you have crazy good AP but versus battleship you kind of need to you know have broadside but on the other hand who the hell needs uh, AP even though I do like to see the AP more often uh, because the uh, the DPM of AP it's absurd nice but the truth is 
the biggest strength about this ship it's that most likely no matter where you're gonna aim it will do full pen yes the HE shells uh, are um, mediocre as best uh, not big um, HE salvo if you hit the target even uh, it was destroyer was fourth something it's pretty pretty good but it's all about DPM. Just look at this uh, ridiculous amount of DPM. And, you know, flat arc, you name it. You have easiest time, yet uh, it, it is less than 8 seconds, that reload time. I do highly recommend to put everything you have effort to increase the DPM. Okay, she got uh, pen, citadel, 11,600 damage. This captain we see. So, there you have, we have a high caliber and 188,000 damage on one more fight because why the hell not? Rig also aiming it, but <laughs> over, overshoot. Now you cannot stay this slow all the time. Yes, you can uke left and right. And I can definitely see the Riga and probably the uh, Terpits also shooting. And he's on fire, okay. He immediately put the fire. Now, if I were to be that rig, I would definitely change to AP. Uh, the HE of Riga, it's actually kind of a mediocre as best. Yes, you can do some HE damage, but it's not that oomph and the HE pen are not German's HE pen. That's the biggest difference between uh, this ship and anything else. And I do believe this um, uh, Riga should... Uh, yeah, now he did the right thing. You said uh, you saw when he changed to uh, AP, he did 15,100 damage. Of course, this ca uh, captain were too obvious that he was playing. Um, oh, 11,600. Yeah, seriously, I know he had a broken engine and stuff like that. But um, if you show so much side, it's it's because you're doing something terrible wrong. The enemy have um, 746 points and they are leading uh, in points wise. Now this captain only have 5799 but that was very unlucky um, salvo from Terpitz. On the other hand I should have uh, if I play this uh, ship I always try to angle. If you're playing like a potato, if you're playing showing a broadside you should have been punished and he has actually been punished several times. But what it's amazing is that this is a little bit lucky for him. He has the range to shoot that Yamato and Yamato is busy to uh, engage that Alaska and Palmer. There is still a ship aiming at this one. I don't know which one. But now the DPM is hilarious fast. Let's see how fast he reloads. Let's see next salvo. Yeah, uh, under 7 kilo, uh, seconds. 6.7, that's all I could I saw. Uh, absolutely hilarious how fast he changed back to H because Yamato it's angled uh, they lost ship I do believe they lost Alaska yes they did no they did not lost Alaska uh, now they did uh, Palmer killed the Erland the enemy Erland all right Alaska it's extremely low HP he only has like none yeah, over again, the Drake kill him. Uh, the Alaska, very unfortunate, he should be uh, retired. Uh, he gained some HP pool back from 7,000 something. And great job from the Palmer, who received a pretty uh, significant hit. Drake, it's very, very uh, healthy. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's see if he can... Very good to dodge, very good income. Now, now this is intense because... Uh, if this captain does not doing good job right now and deleting that Drake, uh, they will most likely lose this battle. Oh, that was very unfortunately. He should stick with the HE. The reload is just absurd. Good angle, very good angle bounce. That was a good trade for shells hit. Uh, that's the thing. You cannot angle versus this Hindenburg uh, HE shells. No matter what they hit, they hit and uh, they kill you. Yes, 
and uh, yeah, adrenaline rush, kicking, and all that. It's absolutely uh, good, good, good damage um, monster. Turpitz has a really hard time to land some um, deleting shots. He's put an on fire. I'm talking about this Leon. He's engaging Turpitz. He wants to put him on fire. Oh, that was a one lucky uh, uh, salvo from him. Oh, he's trying to um, cap this Turpitz captain, but I do believe the fire will come as a um, pizza order. That's what I'm, I do believe. It's just a matter of time. It's now three versus two. The Turpitz does not have a lot of HP pool. The uh, Leon, it's very healthy. Actually, the enemy Leon does so doing something bad or probably he's behind the island he does not engage in our hero yeah now it's just about dpm who's gonna dpm the crap are you absolutely ridiculous it's almost like this captain uh, was you know uh, he did it on purpose to receive that damage so he can increase this stupid rate of fire okay very unlucky for that turpits it was trying poor devil and now it's actually uh, Leon versus Haaland and, and and they're still ahead of points so if Leon can kill this uh, hero the Hindenburg which actually should be a problem oh that was a good you see that's what I'm talking about close to 11,000 damage that salvo guys and 3901 fire and this is what i'm talking about in um, literally less than uh, 14 uh, 14 seconds uh, this lion received close to uh, 18000 damage and fire he put the fire down why i see that 328000 damage i do believe this captain was lucky now the Hollands open fire and probably the Leon is busy shooting the destroyer probably that's what I would suggest they are still ahead the point so once again guys this Leon all he needs to do is actually kill this hero and they will most likely win because it's only exactly two minutes left in this game and if uh, Haaland does not land any torpedo he has really hard really darn hard to kill a very healthy Leon because remember he has super heal Yes, Haaland is using his um, um, guns, but now he's behind the island and he's kind of further away. He's trying and this guy's now it's intense because it's only 1 minute and 34 seconds and the enemy team has still ahead the points. They have a massive 122 uh, points ahead. And I know it sounds weird what I'm going to say right now. All he needs to do, uh, Leon, is to land one good AP salvo or crazy good this HE um, uh, high percent put your enemy on fire because this captain, believe me or not, he has a repair party but he has no more heal. So what I'm trying to say, if the lion, uh, lion uh, uh, put this captain on fire, most likely this hero has to damage con. And then next one, it should be any hard, you know what I mean? I mean, conquers and thunders, uh, oh man, but I do believe his aim is absolutely potato. And now I do believe and this is the power of AP. This AP looks very good and, oh man, he's chunking this captain at 11.1 kilometers very darn uh, good not a whole lot of damage over there he's changing back to he and ladies and gents it's 30 seconds 29 seconds if this uh, leon will survive for 26 more seconds they will win 100 percent the enemy will win but it wasn't that case the enemy lion kind of screwed this one big time and his aim and his um you know the way he was aiming the way he was playing and the angle was showing that that this particular uh, captain was not that good to be honest with you it was kind of a potato so let me know in the comment below what i think about this new badass battle uh, battle cruiser or no it's not a battle cruiser it's the german cruiser hindenburg thanks guys for watching and all his captains fierces and goodbye